I'm a plant physiologist and I'm interested in how plants respond to their environment and how we can optimise resource use efficiency. So how we can uh, optimise the use of water, fertilisers, uh, also uh, to optimise uh, light interception by the plant. So basically trying to uh, develop ways to, to optimise the growing conditions to make sure we can deliver high yields of, of uh, good quality fruit uh, consistently over the growing season. So, so in the UK, all, all commercial strawberry growing is now using cocoa peat. And so, um, so we shifted from, uh, from peat uh, perhaps 10 years ago. Uh, so peat is a very good substrate for growing plants in. It's very water attentive. It's, it's fairly uh, easy to grow plants in, plants in peat. Uh, cocoa peat is more challenging because it's more free draining and more fibrous. And so the approaches that we used to use to irrigate and fertigate uh, plants grown in compost then have to be adapted and changed to, to growing into cocoa peat. So certainly growers in the UK tend to add more water and fertiliser than the plants need and so, um, so often that results in, in, uh, in a waste of water, waste of fertilisers and in the changeable climate in the UK uh, it can also affect fruit quality and shelf life and so what we're trying to do is use the plant to tell us when to irrigate and so we develop sensors that we place in, in, in the cocoa peat and those sensors measure the moisture content in the coir and then we can track plant water use uh, using the data from those sensors. By understanding, uh, by controlling the moisture content within the bad more consistently, we can also then um, um, uh, reduce any likelihood of uh, temporary falls in moisture content. And on some, some grower farms, those small changes in moisture content can, can reduce yields by as much as 7 or 10%. And so by having the automated system, we can then prevent those, those unplanned water deficits from happening and then maintain the quality yields throughout the season. So, so once we understand how the plant responds to its environment, then we can then use that information to develop precision irrigation schedules. And so uh, we've tested these in, in experiments at East Marling. Uh, we've tested them in commercial grower trials. And now we're releasing a commercial offer to growers to help them schedule their, their water and their fertilizers more efficiently.